Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a pre-made body crawfish fly. And this is by Fish Skull Craw Body. This is brown. And these are 1.1 inch or 28 millimeter. So this is the small. Here's a printout I got. And I'm using the small. It's 28 millimeters, 1.1 inch. They have medium, 41 millimeter, 1.6 inch, large, 50 millimeters or 2 inches, and the extra large is 58 millimeters or 2.3 inches. And there's the sizes of them there. I like the medium, that would be a really nice size there. We're going to tie the trout size. So I have here a four extra long size eight streamer hook. I'm going to use a rusty brown eight aught thread. We're gonna put a base of thread down. I'm gonna start out by weighting the shank. I have 15 thousandths lead wire. I'm going to lay it on there long ways and I'm going to tie it right on the top. And you want to keep that on the top. Because adding weight to the top of the hook is going to flip it over in the water so that the hook point is riding up. Take that and I'm going to break that off. Then I'm going to put two more on there. Put one right alongside. Put one right along each side of it. Now I'm going to take my hook out and I'm going to turn it over. And we have all of those wraps on the bottom and the fly will ride with the hook point up. I'm going to take the craw body and I'm going to measure it up. I want that tail to be tied in right behind the eye. So we're going to tie it in by the nose first and that's just about good. We're going to start tying it in right where the thread is hanging and then I'm going to we're going to fold it over later on. Okay, we're going to start this out. We're going to tie that in just by the tip of the nose there. And you want to start start tying that in with the craw body on your side of the hook shank. Then it will get carried over and be on the right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to start the underbody. I'm going to take Awesome Possum. and I'm going to take this brown because most things that live in the water, their belly is a little lighter than their top camouflage purposes. You don't need to use Awesome Possum. You can use a, a rabbit blend. But I'm going to take that I'm going to put a little ball right there. Right at the nose. And secure that. Now for the antenna, I have a pair of, these are hair mask whiskers. You can use anything. You can use a stripped quill. You can use crystal flash. I'm going to tie these in. And I'm going to make them about one and a half the length of the body. I'm going to hold everything, tie them in, and tie them in right into that ball.
You can bring them up the top. Doesn't really matter. And we're just going to trim them off. As long as they're pointing out correctly on the front. I'm taking more of my dubbing. And you want it, you don't want this real skinny, but you don't want it real fat because we're going to pick it out. We're going to use our dubbing teaser on it and get the uh, get a nice shaggy underbody. Go ahead and wrap this up. Bring it right up to the front. And bring that back. I'm going to check it. And that's looking pretty good. Now at this point I'm going to take a hackle and this is a rusty brown grizzly. It all depends on the color you want. So you just match the colors up. And we're going to tie that in. I'm going to take more dubbing and I'm going to put this on pretty thick now. If we look at the craw body, we want it thin at the nose area, then we want it thick in the thorax area, and from the thorax down, we want it thin once again. So I want this thick so I'm going to wrap it and add more. And that should be the thorax area. There we go. And now we're going to wrap more for the abdomen. At this point I'm going to take a fine copper wire because of the size of this. You would use larger on the larger ones obviously. And I'm going to tie this in and this is going to be our rib. And I'm going to continue dubbing the body. And bring that right to the eye of the hook. I'm going to take my hackle and I'm going to start wrapping it right there. Move my wire out of the way. And we're going to palmer this forward or back. Bring that wire. And tie that in. Get my wire out of the way once again. I'm going to take that body, I'm going to fold that over, I'm going to hold that towards my side of the hook slightly, so that when I tie it, it will end up on the top. Put a couple of good cinch down. You still want to keep it towards you slightly. We're going to take the copper wire, and we're going to wrap the rib. and advance it underneath so that you will get straight rib sections. And I'm going to bring it up to the tail and I'm going to put a couple of wraps 
under the tail. Tie this off. Couple in front, couple in back. And you can break that off. Take the whip finish. Tighten that down, put some head cement on there. Now I'm going to take my Velcro and I'm going to flip this back over. And I'm going to rough up that dubbing. At that nose there, try to pull a little bit of dubbing off to each side. Pull out the stray hairs. Don't worry about hurting it because you have a wire in there. And you can fish this just the way it is, like so. But the crayfish on the river I fish, I use, has a lot of mine water in it. So I'm going to take an orange marker and I'm going to color this. It's not going to come out orange, but it's going to make it a little bit of a rust color. And right up the And here we have the fish skull crawfish. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.